Monday. I haven't been fishing for three days. Friday and Saturday, I was down in Cardiff all day for both of those days. Set off very early in the morning on the Friday, got back home late in the evening on the Saturday. Yesterday, Sunday, I was intending to go out, but I think today, Monday, working through the days there, we could actually be moving house. So we spent yesterday um, packing things and sorting stuff out as you do. And that took up the whole day. And I went to bed after midnight. Last night, I scraped the ice off the car. Up this morning, did the same as well. So I'm actually keeping an eye on the water temperature. I've just put the thermometer in and I can tell you that it has dropped significantly. I've been getting temperatures if you follow the blogs and then read the um, the written blog that goes with the video you'll know that I've been getting temperatures into double figures recently into tens and elevens however it has fallen away due to the conditions that we've had over the last day or so this will be hard going but I've got a I've got a duck I've got a duck alongside me I've just been feeding her uh, maggots and I think she's after some more but back to the fishing I've got a bait in the water and as long as you've got that you have a chance I'll tell you what I'm here for just one hour this morning wanted to get some fishing in today because I've also got work to do as well fortunately I'm working from home so I can tie that in with everything on the laptop in between all the stuff that I'll be doing today but if I'm being realistic I'm always confident but you have to be realistic and on that level if I can catch one fish today regardless of the size I tell you what that will be a result I've just had a little tap on the rod and I'll tell you what that in itself is a big encouragement I'm giving it a few more seconds till I pull in I don't think it's developing could possibly have been a, a roach it was difficult to tell now but I haven't got suck maggots I'm fishing with two reds on a size 16 hook got four pound line straight through and that's my setup simple a running lead <clears throat> a small bead and a small shot a very simple approach but it works anyway I'm putting that bait back out. I'm fishing right on the canal, so I'm, I'm back from it as much as I can. And that's where the rod that I've been using lately comes into its own. It's only six feet. If it was 12, then it would be very difficult to handle what I've often done in position, in a situation like this. I've had to angle my position, so I'm alongside and the, the rod likewise with the tip hanging just over the edge. Anyway, I've put the bait out again and it would be it would be great to get a fish this morning. And hopefully that's what I will be back with. I haven't got a fish to show you, but I have had a couple more bites. Well, taps really very, very slight movements on the rod top this is where you start to think about the session and you go down the line of should i add a hook length of lighter line i'm fishing four pound straight through should i go to three or maybe two and a half pound line should i go with a smaller hook an 18 with just one maggot on those are all possibilities that you could then turn a bite into a fish however on this occasion apart from the fact that I'm here for just a, a short time anyway just just an hour this morning I don't believe that those would necessarily make the difference because I've done that before in situations like this you can sometimes over a, a longer period of time pick up an extra fish but I'm also working on the basis that there are some good perch in this section so if I hook one 
I want to make sure that I stay connected. So the 16 hook, I'm staying with that, the four pound line, that's okay. The real issue is, as I've already mentioned, the water temperature. It has plummeted to single figures. That's the real issue. What I am going to do though, is I'm keeping my hand down there by the rod. And as soon as I get the slightest tap, instead of waiting for it to, to develop, which it hasn't, I'm going to strike anyway. I've got nothing to lose. And that could be the difference between not catching and catching. So hopefully I'll get another bite of the cherry this morning. Nothing doing, unfortunately, today. I've still got the rod out there. I'll be bringing that in once I finish talking. So who knows what may happen in these final few seconds. But you have to be realistic in these conditions. The canal is very clear anyway. You can see right the way to the bottom. And that first frost of the year, that's always a big one. That's always an event that has an effect upon the fish. They'll get used to it in time, no problem at all. Give it a month or two months, the temperature that I've had today will actually be quite good. But when it's gone from where it was to now, overnight, then it's not a good drop at all. So I'm not surprised that the fish, although they're there, they've been very finicky indeed. However, as I said, my bait was in the water, I had a chance, but above all, I've enjoyed it. I do love the great outdoors and fishing. I haven't been for three days. I'm not obsessed, I am passionate. It hasn't bothered me, but nevertheless, it has been good to get back on track. When I was down in Cardiff for the football over the weekend, I live blogged. I did that on the Friday and on the Saturday. I actually had very good views on my website so I was I was pleased with that because normally I'm live blogging fishing not these sort of sh sessions but the longer ones I'll get back to that in due course anyway I am going to lift my bait out of the water for the final time and hopefully I'll be in a new house this evening if not it'll it'll happen sometime this week anyway if you are fishing yourself, tight lines. And remember, you'll never catch sitting at home by a warm fire.